Hey guys, this is Jellybone. And Nervous Bird. Uh, today we're doing the Click Slither versus Severed. Also known as Josh versus Troy. Okay, now I can spectate both of them. Alright, apparently you should have added you. Uh, Troy might be lagging hard, so we might see another concede uh, play. I need a click confirm for him. Quick. <laughs> Does he really want two polymorphs and a water elemental, though? <laughs> Apparently he has no choice. This this could get bad real fast. We're living in a 2015, right? Like, internet what? exists no. everywhere, right? I don't know, do places not have internet? I think places out in the middle of nowhere that nobody really cares about don't have internet, really. Yeah, but lag's like a weird thing for him to have. Oh, look at that grim patron warrior. This is gonna be bad. Grim patron warrior. Yeah, everyone yeah. get in here. I can tell it by the Warsong Commander. The only reason you would have that since the nerf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they made the uh, that new guard just because nobody was using Warzone Commander anymore. Oh, did Troy just coin into nothing? Yep. Wow, the BM play. <laughs> okay, let's see if he's going to be able to drag a card over. Cobalt German, so you should have had last turn. Okay, okay, well, at least he's got it down now, you know. The coin BM was just coin BM. <laughs> he doesn't need no coin to win the game. <laughs> Damn right. Look, he's got a, uh, what, 12 points of burst in hand? No, that was terrible maths. 11 points of burst. Oh my god. <laughs> he seems to be experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate how warriors can just armor up for all time. I'm for a grizzly. Okay, now I want to see trading of cobalt. No, no. Yeah. Then again, that does reduce your uh, 11 points of burst down to 9 points of burst. Oh, I the mighty burst fallen. forever, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's important to the game. So I really want to make like a whirlwind spell power warrior, right? I yep. think that would be really interesting. And by interesting, I mean bad. Well, you know, my shitty rogue deck is basically just spell power rogue. <laughs> spell power is just such a fun mechanic. I, re I really enjoy it. Okay, uh, so now you frostbolt to punish him. No, no, please, please don't do not. This out. Do not. But Whatever four of them, you get four shots. <laughs> He's either going to get a ton of cards. Or yeah, the, uh, the um, echo light <laughs> just won't die. Yeah, full damage to face. Uh, okay, interesting. I mean, I don't dislike this play. Look at this hand. He's got a knife blade for the extra three damage. Yeah, I mean, he could just keep going face. Plus, there's a flame stripe for when the board gets too big. That's true. Yeah, I think it's turn eight that patron happens. Willand. I actually like that play a lot. Yeah, yeah, get to draw two cards. <laughs> oh, the shield blocks. Oh my god. This is what makes uh... me hate the warrior. The devil, like, the shield block and then the shield slam or something. That's fine. Booty Booty Bay is going to ruin him. Booty Booty Bay don't care about shield block. <laughs> booty Bay, buddy, cat. 
A wolf rider. <laughs> I guess double charge. It's the fastest minion around. I... I don't think I like this. He's trading, like, one of his combo pieces for the taunt. He had to waste two cards in order to deal with one card. Hmm. And now Frostbolt into, like, Knife Juggler Ping deals with it completely. Or do you play the Knife Blade? <laughs> or do you Arcane Missile and cross your fingers? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Wait, no, but now you have to ping it. Oh, oh he didn't ping it. Ah, oh, why would you leave the war song? Oh my god. I don't think he realises. I don't think he knows what's going to happen. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just don't flame strike. You cannot flame strike yet. Just don't flame strike. He's uh, uh, okay. Okay. So Just ping. Just yeah. Ping, him and ping knife, knife juggler. juggler frostbolt. Yep. Knife juggler. Oh, don't fireball. <laughs> fireball the face. It's the. Oh my god. Why? Oh well. Uh, he's gonna blow, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but he has no more fireballs. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that he's not running Archmage Antonitis. Probably one of my favorite cards. Oh boy. Oh man, I forgot that Sinjins had three or less attack. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, he's he's doing like the massive uh flame strike bit. Please uh, ping down the war song. You just have to use your hero power. That's a free kill. It's been seeing me as a free kill for so long. I like that he was like the only thing that would have changed his mind is if the arcane missiles had have hit it three times and just killed it. Yeah. That was what he was hoping for. Ah, I can't miss ours. It's such a cool card. I'm glad that with some of the new cards, people actually play it now. It is nice. I really like it. Is this going to be a face axe? This is going to be a face axe. Why would I even question that? Oh, that armor just stacking up. Yep. So frustrating to watch. Look, there's another frostbolt for the face. No. No, put it down. <laughs> water elemental. No. no. <laughs> water elemental. It's fine. Look, he's got frostbolt for the frostbolt face. Frostbolt for the face. No, oh, I mean, next turn, water elemental. Can you imagine how scary it would be not knowing who this player is, yeah. though, and they just kept on burning your face? Yeah, that would be kind of frustrating. Wouldn't you expect them to have, like, two pyroblasts in hand? Oh, he has the he has the combo. Yep, the amazing combo. Okay, so now you polymorph the war song, and you frost <laughs> over you everything. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, arcane missiles, even better. This Everyone you can get in here. Strike. So bad. I think you have to polymorph the war song commander. Because otherwise he could just hurt his own guys and make more. Just arcane missiles, you know you want to. Oh, look at this. Yep, there it is. Oh boy. So that just made lethal, right? Yeah. I can just whack him. Oh, Bouncing Blades probably would have made lethal as well. Look, he's going to do it just for the BM. Maximum BM mode activated. Clank. 
right. You got embarrassed when he did it now. Oh my god. <laughs> I love bouncing blades. As a concept, it's really cool. <laughs> that poor victim. Uh, so apparently it caps out at like 60 hits or something. I was watching these French guys that do these random uh, long hours videos. Oh yeah, I've seen a couple of those. Yeah, like where they try and make the world's longest turn by making arcane missiles never end. <laughs> I've seen a couple. Of, the most of the ones I've seen is just getting someone how much health and damage they can put on someone. Yeah, I I like that Law Walker chose their card of choice. Like he does everything for them. Yep. It's interesting as well how lagged the game got just by having. No, a creature for a lot of hell. Yeah. I'm not sure how coding works, but I thought it was kind of strange that I liked it. <laughs> Troy was just messaging me and was like, I didn't even get to choose my cards. Yeah, he had a, he had a pretty awful hand to begin with. <laughs> Come on, double polymorph. What more do you need? Oh, this... that... First turn when the priest throws that down always upsets me. I mean, coin heroic strike doesn't seem bad. You just deal with their card draw before they can do anything. Yep. Wait, what? No. No. Can he no. misclick? Yep. No, he didn't. Like you've seen how he plays. He never misclicks on face. Hundred <laughs> percent face, hundred percent of the time. Oh boy. Because we're going face against a priest. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing is, if you're a warrior, you can just armor up for longer than they can heal up, since you can get above maximum. Yeah, that's the thing that's always annoyed me about armor, is that it's infinite. You just yeah. keep going. Yeah, I think they should... I think they need more anti-armor cards, or something like... Something that makes the priest better. I know that you can heal up minions, but... Eh. Should have dealt with that cleric a long time ago. I, I like just armoring up here, honestly. Now he gets a card draw. Now this is gonna go for hmm. the face. Yeah. Yep. Oh god, that's a hungry dragon. Can not cut him not shackle. Oh god, you can tell the difference in card quality between these two decks. Clixel has been playing a little bit longer, as you can tell by the golden azure drag. That's the one card I really want. <laughs> oh, do you have none of them? None. Oh. None at all. I really like when you first start the game and like every card you get is just this amazing new thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many now though. Yeah. I haven't gotten a legendary in so long. Not only is there, you know, tons of cards for me to get from the base game, there's still those two entire arenas. Three. <laughs> like, sets of things to do now. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of painful. See, I just need, like, five, six, about six cards from the base set that I really, really want. I need Doomsayers so that I can build Freeze Mage. I need, a. Uh... Hey, uh, I find it all I... Radishes. I wish I had Ice Lance. <laughs> it's so silly. I don't know if it's good. Oh, look, Booty Booty Bay completely counters this. No, wait, what? Yeah... Yeah, sure, go for face. 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 You know, I'm noticing a recurring uh, theme in his plays. He just likes whacking people in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fetish. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you play Hearthstone to do? Maybe he's got that quest where he needs to deal 100 damage to someone's face. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Ah, oh, more dragons. Yeah, I'm real confused by the Dragon Priest. Listen, I don't know how I feel like Chromagus. Yeah, it, okay. 
So everyone only likes legendaries when they do something immediately, right? Yeah. But he doesn't. You have to wait a turn to do anything with him. Yeah. Chances are he's going to be killed. Yeah. It's kind of like Ysera, except Ysera's harder to deal with, in a way. Oh, and she gets you a card at the end of the turn. You don't have to wait yeah. for you to, to draw cards. You get that one, you're in a guaranteed one card, which is always nice. Yeah. Nine mana for one card, though. Especially if it's the Ysera Dream, or the Ysera Awakens, is it? That does five damage to everyone? Yep. Is it Ysera? Amazing card. When you're in a tight spot. <laughs> yeah. And then there's Nightmare, which is just better power overwhelming. Just think and boot it. Okay, so you trade with the 3-5, you do this. Sure, why not? I think he might want to, yeah, he's going to trade that way. Interesting. I would have went the other way and just kept my taunt up to be annoying. Yeah, I would have went the other way and played a knife blade, honestly. Oh no, there goes his combo piece. I'm assuming this is like some silly combo deck. As every deck should be. <laughs> silly combos. Why you play oh, St Stormbite Commander. Wow. I kind of like this card. Okay. I think it's a good card, but I like it. I, w I was having this weird conversation with Jess, right? I was trying to explain to her why Elven Archer was bad, but uh, that rogue card that deals two damage is good. <laughs> Like it's, it's it's part of the combo, the uh, SI agent or something. Yeah, 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 SI agent. So you have to do a combo with it, and it's a 3-3 three, three for 2. When, like, an Elven Arch is a 1-1 one, one for 1, you know? Yeah. Well, that's a bit, because when it's actually on the board, it's an actual threat. When Elven Arch is on the board, nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit of 1 damage. No, you can't whirlwind. Don't whirlwind. No, he just he just heal. And you'll feel bad about your life choices. <laughs> I know why he wants to, but... Yeah. But it's not a good move against a priest. Yeah. Oh, the problem is he's just got so many cards in hand. And there's no way to deal with Chromagus. Can you imagine if Chromagus had came down this turn? I wonder why he didn't. I guess you haven't seen any executes. Oh, that's a good point. You just want to bait them out on, like, a sludge voucher or something. Oh, I really don't like this card. If you're holding a dragon, gain two health. It's like a weird zombie chow. It's a two... It could be a potentially a two, three for one, which is... Nice, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm following what's happening. So many creatures <laughs> on a click slither side. So many creatures. I've seen how many spells this game from him? Like two? Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he's just running like Shadow Word Pains and Shadow Word Deaths. The standard clear. I suppose it's hard to. Oh, uh, there it is. Over. Oh, and I guess there's also like, um. Mind control, right? You'd be running mind control, yeah. <laughs> At least one, just for the fun. <laughs> Holy Nova, really? No, nah, I can see it. I mean, it heals up all you guys. Actually, I would have attacked with Sludge Belcher first. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, when I saw that, Click saw that had a Grim Patron Warrior. I really wanted to enter the tournament and just destroy him. We're having it. Yep. It's punishment. Damn right. Screw him, man. Screw him. Screw all um, Grim Patrons, really. Such a broken card, man. Yeah, it's just real annoying. Real annoyingly good. Oh. <laughs> this is just sad. They're both on pretty much the same health, but they're nowhere close. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's not much, uh, not much Troy can do right now. You obviously haven't heard of a card called Reckless Rocketeer. The saviour of the game. <laughs> Didn't it win him last game? I think so. Maybe not win. Yeah, actually, I think it did win him. Yeah, I seem to remember it dealt with something. Like a Kel'Thuzad or something? Something scary. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm boy. not sure if I'd run Chromagus over Kel'Thuzad, honestly. I guess you don't expect to get this ahead. Kill the slime. Kill the slime. I'm trying to do it for him. Mm. There we are. Oh man. Throw down the Hungry Dragons. Throw down both of the North Shire clerics. Throw down everything, really. Yeah, probably Hungry Dragons. Alright. Uh, I can see that. It trades with the Nightblade. Yeah. Under oh, hill. yeah. Yeah. Not even playing two. Way to not be greedy. <laughs> Wait, he's going to get two copies of it. Holy shit. I you're on so many cards, Justin. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, he would have only been on nine cards. It would have been perfect. I feel like versing someone with Kroger Magus would be amazing to be a mill. Yes. Mill rogue. Oh my god, yes. You just need to hide the fact. Yep. Just, oh man, just imagine them throwing down Kroger Magus and you throw down two, um, what are they called? Cold Light Oracles. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so the... So like... Oh my god. They'd get... The first... Cold Light Oracle would probably like destroy their hand pretty much, right? Yeah. The second one would just get rid of two guards. Oh my god. Just keep burning them. I guess you'd only get rid of some copies most of the time? It would be real weird. <laughs> First game. Alright. I wonder what the final deck is. Hmm. Alright, Troy's got a... Oh, Troy's got a Warlock. Okay. For some reason, I thought he had a mage. Oh, that's right, the double corruption warlock. Why corruption? Why? No, cor look, corruption is a is a basic card, right? It's the best removal in the game at basic. It's yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the fact that they are so limited in their choice. Yeah. That doesn't stop our Clixlother playing a oil rogue, though. Frostwolf grunt. Okay, what I really like about Troy's hand is the fact that it can't target face, so he's going to be less likely to just shoot things at his face. His drain life, you could throw that down. That's true, that's true. You yeah. can draw you a card now, and then yeah. next turn tap draw now. a knife. Tap now. <laughs> he didn't tap. Interesting. Yeah, I really like tap there, honestly. Maybe he doesn't like hurting himself. I don't know why we play the Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> For all the other cool things that you can do with it. Oh, look. Now, now Drain Life like, gets, him, uh, gets him pretty high. That wolf, though. Yeah, you kill the wolf. You have to kill the wolf. Yeah. See, I feel like this deck is forcing him into better players. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Oh, look at this. He's got Sengens, he's got Voidwalkers. I think... Frostwolf Grunts. He's got mostly taunts by the look of it. 
I think because people think warlocks, you know, warlocks hurt themselves. So yeah. in order to combat that, you get lots of taunts, right? Yeah. The weird thing is that at higher higher tier levels of play, uh, warlocks are very aggressive, and you just try and kill your opponent before you die yourself. Yeah, there's no point trying to counteract what you work with as a warlock. If you're going to die fast, you have to kill faster. Yeah. I mean, even handlocks hurt themselves for the first like, several turns. I'm not sure what I do here. It's a very awkward situation. Mm, I don't think I like the void. Oh, okay, okay. No, that's amazing. Look, if he attacks the void walker for the free kill, then the shadow bolt comes down. Uh. All right. I mean... He just completely invalidated what I was saying, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. No, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Now if he attacks the Voidwalker for the free kill, the Dread Infernal comes down. That was weird. I don't like that. Interesting. Look, now the Dread Infernal comes down and wins the game. Single-handedly. Dread Infernal. Yeah! Easy game, easy life. Sadly, uh, he still has a 6-1 weapon in hand. No, you don't care. You have a... I mean... <laughs> You've lived a long life, Druid Inferno. A long <laughs> life. Okay, in a short time on this earth, he managed to kill something, you know. Just him existing killed something. Luckily, there's not many creatures going to be played this turn, I think. I mean... Next turn there'll be a core hound as well. Yeah, this core hound, man. Oh, no response core either. Hound. Yeah, I guess you just have to, what, Assassin's Blade, Deadly Poison, and then take nine to the face. Throw down the shade, since uh, the cleric could have buffed up the shade a bit more. And then the shade <laughs> could have taken care of it eventually. <laughs> Eventually. No, you can't target things with stealth. <laughs> Just so play the core the... hound. Yeah, throw down the hound. Release core the hound. hound. Oh my god. Core hound? Release uh, the hounds. I really... If I was entering this tournament, I think I'd make a beast tribal charge beast deck with, like, core hounds and tundra rhinos and just hope that they didn't deal with the tundra rhino. That's got to really suck, trading away your shade. So he's on 10 life. What a lucky draw. Very, very nice draw. I think you tap. I guess you, yeah, I guess you get rid of some of the junk in your hand first. And then you tap. Unfortunately, there's a shadow bot in the way. I'm not sure if we're going to see many big threats. Oh, sense demons. Oh. Oh. Well, good. good game. Okay, Sengen might be really important. Sengen and then buff. <laughs> Wait. Is he gonna go face? He has to. He he can't he can't hit that. I'll hit that. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so Doom Guard, Dread Infern Oh wait, you can't play both. <laughs> I think you corruption the Sengen, you play Nightblade? Okay, and then you trade with it. That's fine. And then you play yeah. Nightblade. Trade Nightblade. Actually, you... trade... Trade Doomguard? Hmm. Oh my god, yes. Trade Doomguard. No, not even trade Doomguard, then trade. Because you might get a hit on the... On the person. 
If he throws on Doomguard and the Knife Juggler hits the enemy champion, he's well. hoping on the knife. Mm. <laughs> okay, I mean, he's no. still won. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that Draven also too. hit face. Could he have? Yeah, if he had thrown down the Doom Guard and a hit what's a hit face with the knife juggler, he could have then traded for the torn and then just kept charged into him with Doom Guard for five damage. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> too little too late. Blade Fury as well. I mean, you could have thrown down the Blade Fury as well. Yeah. Very unfortunate. All right, wow. So that's uh, two wins to Josh so far. And one to Troy. This is real close to elimination. So since both of Josh's other decks have been basically eliminated by winning, he now has to stick with the rogue against uh, Warrior and then whatever the other deck was. Was it a mage? Uh, the... The rogue is unfortunate. We'll get to see, hopefully, see what other cards he has in, in his deck at least. Yeah. I mean, hear me out. You just armor up for all time. And what does an oil rogue do? Sludge Belcher. Another card I need. <laughs> just get an axe. You poor bastard. <laughs> I'm so poor. Oh no. And he goes face. <laughs> we know how Troy loves to go face. <laughs> no. You just armor up. Rest in peace, weapon. A rogue uh, cannot a do anything against 50 hit, hit points. Bye, X. Armoring up is still a good option. Armor up and then cleave down the shade that comes down next turn. Huh. Hmm. Three raid leader. Okay, okay, hear me out. You wouldn't trade with the raid leader because there's nothing else down and you don't really care about it. And you want to deal three damage to the face. Or you don't. No, you don't. <sighs> I. I probably would have. I would have probably done the three damage to the face because I'm greedy. <laughs> but then I would have then I would have got punished by Cleave. These are the plays. Yep. I I prefer control <gasps> over face. Cleave whirlwind. Is he gonna do it? Or oh no no Cleave whirlwind only play. <laughs> <laughs> Cleave whirlwind armor up. <laughs> My mouse is just hovering over armor up, trying to click it for him. We'll get to see it happen one day. No. <laughs> Why would you play hero powers? Ah, oh, I'm so proud right now. Oh, he's a genius! I forgot about Heroic Strike. Really? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Wait, did he not attack with his guy? Nope. The BM is so real. And then Thorison comes down. It's fine. Reckless Rocketeer. Wow, that card's actually going to come in useful again. Look, even Stranglethorn Tiger could deal with it given some time. For six mana, five and two, so it upsets me. <laughs> it's just like a Argent Commander. <sighs> it's an Argent Commander without a Divine Shield and one more attack. <laughs> yeah. I, I prefer the Divine Shield, I'll be honest. Come on, then you can't even kill Emperors. <laughs> That's true. You should swap them out just so I can get rid of the Emperors. Damn right. So I like Tigley 
and uh, armor up. T A W G E. Oh man, look, he has more than thirty health. He's hacking. Attacking with the shade. Well. I guess he expects like another Cleave Whirlwind Blur. Cleave sadly does nothing. Yeah. There's nothing he can do right now. I understand why he did it, but I don't think it was the best moves. Uh, don't, don't. No, I don't get this. I don't get this at all. Maybe maybe he doesn't know about the death rail on Forge Voucher. Or maybe uh... Uh, Okay, this is better, but I still don't know why you cleaved. <laughs> yep. See now is when you cleave. Yep. Oh well. It was a very kind of an awkward situation. Yeah. No, you have armor up. You just... <laughs> it's always armor. Yeah. Like, every turn you're not armoring up, you're not gaining life. This is a moment you want some spell power for the Fan of Knives. <laughs> Eviscerate with my favorite cards. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure if it's good, though. I mean, for two, ma uh, for two mana, you can just deal three damage instead, you know? Yeah, and always have the three damage. Very rarely as a rogue, though, can you not throw down a combo. Yeah. Sometimes you um, just don't draw... Uh, no, I think I'm fine with this. Yeah. I was about to say, I didn't realize that Thorson's already dead, so most of the big cards are gone. Yeah. Yeah, what else does a rogue have? Yeah. A 5-3 <laughs> weapon. That's all. A wolf rider, that's upsetting. Trade, kill him with the weapon, throw down the wolf right and start going face. Yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, you could just go face and force him to deal with his stuff. See, going down to sixteen, I don't really like. Okay, imagine if Troy had had some acidic swamp oozes. <laughs> the law of the arena comes down. The gates are open. The gates are open. And the armor up. So frustrating to watch. I mean, he could trade and lose another six health. <laughs> that he could. That he could. No, I think he's done with losing health now. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. You'll you'll live through the weapon charges. And it just minions upon minions coming down. Uh, things look grim. I'm assuming there's not a brawl in this deck. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, this looks pretty much like lethal. I might not be a math genius, but uh. That looks bad. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Alright, with that, uh, I'm going to stop the recording here. See you guys. Bye-bye.